<laughs> I can't fool you all. You thought it was another commentary free track with ambient noises only, <laughs> but it's not. It's just <laughs> there's a cryo stand going back. <laughs> hey, we missed it on the last uh, the last Starbase summary, but we are back with some commentary explaining what's going on in this Starbase summary. Appreciate everybody who was missing us in the comments. Over this way, there is a cable chain coming off a of Tower One. You can see that is something that protects those uh, cables as the chopsticks go up and down, if I'm not mistaken. Got one on my uh, CNC and one on my 3D printer. And so same sort of thing. This is just a very big, well, it's not really a CNC or a 3D printer. It's a big robotic arm. Anyways, check this out. They have not been messing around tearing down that OLM. Like Reports of the launch mount's demise are not very exaggerated. The thing is coming to pieces. But look at the bottom. They've actually been stacking dirt piles down there and I, I think it's too well I don't want to say catch the stuff but that was an entire deck that guy's standing on one side and they cut that whole deck and just let it fall into the mounds of dirt over at pad two there's that locks booster quick disconnect cover slash shield uh, the back side of it being installed that's not the part that will move that's sort of a fixed cover that goes into place that sort of back armor cladding here comes a tank. Think of this one came out of McGregor. <laughs> Sorry about the intro again. I uh, think that came from McGregor. Here is the uh, <laughs> excavator operator warming up. It's like stretches. Very important here. Calisthenics. Getting the old lubricants flowing through all the bearings. And oh, here, we're just going to move this pile of dirt over here. Just tuck it in a little bit. Here goes another section falling away. It is like they're not trying to rig it up. Maybe it's safer to just let it drop and get out of the way, but those guys are like right there. Any event, we've been seeing that happening over and over again. There's that IB Proofin uh, test jig, it was getting rotated a little bit, maybe connected to some different hold down clamps. A little bit of uh, work happening on booster 17. You can see a couple lifts up there uh, near the top and uh, near the bottom ish area. Also, check the left hand side. You see the chines with the COPVs, those uh, pressure vessels that are normally hidden under the chines. That chine has been removed there on the side, really showing you what's inside of those things. Ah, look at this. You got the booster on the right-hand side that has the full chines. You got the booster on the left-hand side where those left-hand chines are uh, the cover. The chines themselves are removed, and you can see those tanks that are stored underneath. Here is a Gigabay part being lifted. Very exciting. Yep. Oh, did something fall against the building in the background? Look at that. It looks like something hit the building, or is that maybe just dust or soot or something? We got a deluge test over on Pad 2. We've been seeing more and more of these. Uh, you may notice a new name on the watermarks. Big thanks to Colleen, who is out there at Starbase, helping us cover what's going on on a daily basis. Appreciate you taking up the mantle and uh, being out there shooting for us, Colleen. Give her some love down in the comments. Got a good shot of this test here. And then you can also see that uh, sort of, what is it, a venting blow off? What do you want to call it on the left hand side? Almost like a fountain. It's like a very high pressure vertical vent. There's some deluge depress venting on the side. This is after the test. This not, doesn't look as high pressure. Oh, but it is sort of coming out there. That looks like a big voluminous, voluminous vent there. It's, it's got some good velocity coming out of there. Uh, it's not super high pressure, but uh, it was quite a bit coming out of the de depressurization vent there. Nice art shot. Orbital pad one. Not so orbital pad. Never actually sent anything to orbit. Oh, How about that new Glenn? Sending things to orbit. Not just orbit, Mars! Wow! Jeez. In any event, this is Starbase. Uh, sunset behind the production site over there. You can see all four tower cranes at the Gigabay being... I'm going to catch flack for that comment down in the down below. I know I am, but that's okay. I'm not scared. We've got some B18.3 cryo testing happening. Tough shot here at night. Looks like it was pretty windy too. Maybe we tried to stabilize that a little bit, but that was a rough shot over there at Massey's. There is that back cover for the methane side. The left-hand side is the lock side. This side sort of facing the camera here was the methane side here from Caesar's shot. Uh, zoomed in, you can see the rigging on that crane to get that thing center of mass right. It's got one thing up in the middle and then two in the back. It's like a, like a triangle three-point stance. If there's any sports coaches out there, I guess very few sports actually use three-point stances. Anyways, whatever. Oh, we keep, God, we keep putting orbital pad one on this. It's the old pad one. I need to 
I'm going to cross that out and make it say old pad one in the future. But uh, you can see, it's just some of the legs standing there on the left-hand side. I've been watching Starbase Live, and they've been ripping that plating off the side, the ladder on one side and all that piping on the left-hand side here. That has been coming down via excavator as well. I don't think we're going to see it in this video, but just keeping that up on my TV screen just to watch what's going on on a daily basis. Gonna grab some cryo deliveries here. Of course, that's Caesar's bag with the fantastic camera setup he's got that gets the nice glow. The ambiance. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This needs cricket noises and like whooshing noises. Like pump noises. I don't know, I'm not gonna make a very good pump noise. Rate my. <laughs> I'm sorry, rate my intro again. <laughs> like, did I have you fooled? I don't think I had you fooled. Uh, part of the reason I do these is because I crack me up. I'm sorry. Not really. All right, there's sunrise over the gulf. That's confusing. Caesar normally shooting uh, the night shift over there. Was Caesar out all night? We'll have to ask Caesar what caused him to get a sunrise. That is different, but uh, just the, that cloud. Wow, that, those clouds are like way over the horizon. That's actually really cool how you can, you can see the horizon there, like that whole thing. The earth curves away from you, and those clouds have a bottom out there, but the bottom is over the horizon. You just see the top parts. I don't know that I normally notice that, but the sun there with that backlighting, that was a really cool shot. It's Ship 40's nose gone. That's a cool shot as well. We've been working on quite a few uh, bits of holiday merch, and a lot of it's meme holiday merch. We've got, like, our 8-bit holiday sweaters but some of the most memeingful merch is uh, we took a shot of these TPS tiles and we made them into pajama pants. Not really rated for re-entry. Um, they're super soft and stretchy. Probably more protection than the Orion heat shield, but <laughs> I, I kid, I kid, hey, I kid. Um, but we've been working on getting some of that holiday merch out there in case you want to make your family groan when you walk into the Christmas celebration with your TPS or booster pajama pants. We got a tree skirt too. There's a tree skirt that looks like the TPS test. Uh, more nose cones. We do the nose cone thing. I, I sort of feel like I repeat myself over and over again with the nose cones. There is a likely nose cone work platform in the background. Again, shout out to the tooling folks there that watch the videos sometimes. Super curious what's going on with that structure in the back. It's interesting because it's very enclosed, right? Ogive Ford Vert Tooling. Well, I, th that's what it says on the sign. It also seems to say ship below it. Somebody can explain to me what the heck that means. Here's uh, the launch site. Is it a launch site? Is it the launch sites, plural? Is it the entire, like, the? I don't know. We don't need to argue that. OLM disassembly continues. Like, all night, every night, basically, we've been seeing just showers of sparks falling from the OLM as they cut parts off, as they prepare parts. Some of this, they're not really scoring, but they're cutting all the lines, but not completely cutting through. And then they come back and ch ch make the final cuts um, on a lot of these pieces. But we've been seeing it over and over again. And just imagine, look at how that seems to be hanging on the left-hand side. And then this lift is there. Imagine how careful you have to be. Oh, there's a Raptor Quick Disconnect. Oh, that's a close-up of a Raptor Quick Disconnect. You usually can't see those because the, the body of the OLM was there, but that's what plugs into the outside of the booster. Oh, that's actually really cool. Sorry, I distracted myself. I was going to talk about how, how safely you have to do this and how you have to position your, your lift and your work and make sure that if something starts to droop or hang or something like that, it didn't cut your work platform and catapult you off or anything like that. Like, that's... That's a huge deal, honestly, doing this very safe, safely. It's it's like a rapid way to just drop these pieces. They're almost like steel lumberjacks cutting this thing down. Like imagine the, the dudes, the folks that climb up to the top of the tree, and then how do you cut off the top of the tree, making sure that you're not connected to the parts you're, you're cutting off and like the part falls down, but you're still there. You know what I mean? You've seen the videos. You know what I'm talking about. They're, they're literally like concrete and steel lumberjacks using that thermal lance to saw this thing to pieces blast, melt this thing to pieces, whatever correct uh, verb you would like there. It really is cool. And big thanks to Caesar for getting out there and getting these showers of sparks with this nice lens he's got. God. It's, it's nuts. It just did its job, and they're, they're getting it out of the way. They're going to make another better launch pad, and that thing's there's no love lost, no spilt milk. It's not even really spilt. 
it did its job. It got launches done, you know. Got a couple of pieces uh, coming back. Was that a ring stand or something like that? I don't know, a thrust simulator? Nope, that was the thrust simulator. Here's the ship going to the ring stand here. Oh, those are the the, the transfer tubes, downcomers, whatever. Don't at me. Um, we saw those go in on that jig, and then they've installed them in the ship. Look at Oh, that's actually really cool. You know, <laughs> one of the reasons we do this is because I think a lot of people don't have a, a firm understanding. They're going to rip some shielding off. Oh, neat. Uh, people don't have a firm understanding of how much work goes into rockets. You show up for launch day. It's exciting. Oh, a countdown. T minus 20 minutes. T minus 3 minutes. 2, 1. <laughs> the thing goes and you clap and then not T plus 3 minutes. You're done with it, right? We've got some cool views with SpaceX giving us uh, uh, views from you know, Starlink's to Poisons, that sort of thing. But you don't realize, like, this step you see on the screen right now is a critical step to launch the rocket. Look at all the tubing in there and how that has to be designed and it has to be implemented and tested out and it's one of SpaceX's superpowers they put this stuff together they see how it fits they see how it works if it doesn't work they go to the next thing they redesign it they redesign it they do it again and again it's one reason I think it's so cool that we show this because because in order for launch day in order for those exciting 15 minutes that you love to see to happen there are thousands of people who have to do all of this other work that you never think about Right, the people making the tooling, the people making those pipes, the people making the jigs, the people pouring concrete at the launch pad. In any event, that's one reason we do these videos. Uh, hope you enjoy them. We'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you nerds later. Whoosh.